guys, I hope you're all well and having a super day. I am having a day of filming today, if I'm honest with you, and I just finished filming a Primark and H&M home haul um, in a very relaxed, casual way, because if you've seen that one, you'll have heard how today's a chill day, and um, I'm wearing my slob clothes, and I've got really bad eye, ba bad eye bags. So why not deal with what's in my handbag? Basically at the end, you know, Dex is in a naughty mood. Basically at the end of the Primark video I said to you, I said what do you want to see? Um, would you like to see a house tour or what's in my handbag? Um, and then I tweeted that question and quite a few people said they'd like to see what's in my handbag. If you can hear a rustling, it's because little Minxie is shredding a bag and I'd rather he shredded the bag, a cardboard bag, than anything else. So I'm just going to let him get away with it. So I thought I'd film what's in my handbag now because I've got the lighting set up and I quite like the lighting. I've been struggling so much with lighting now that it's autumn, um, YouTube problems and yeah. So I thought I'd film what's in my handbag. This is going to be the most genuine what's in my handbag ever. Like I can so imagine that so many people put stuff in there or take things out to make themselves look more glamorous or more fun or maybe they don't, maybe I'm just really critical. <laughs> but I, um, I finished filming the Primark video about two minutes ago probably not even that, went to grab my bag and it's really heavy um, and thought I would show you what's inside it so let's get cracking. The bag itself is the Radley, um, I think it's called a Portman backpack, I might have got that wrong so I'm going to leave a link down below to this backpack. You're probably bored to death of this if you watch my, um, if you read my vlog or follow me on Instagram because I've been wearing it since um, before I went to Italy, I first started wearing it during September Fashion Week, no. But so the handbag um, is actually a rucksack, it's uh, got these two adjustable straps on the back and also a little pocket which I usually keep my, it's not in there at the moment which is a bit worrying, I normally keep my credit card at the back there which is contactless which I use as my Oyster card because um, now that I blog full time I don't go obviously into the office or into London every day so I no longer get my monthly so I use my credit card, fun fact for you. Um, and then on the front it's got a handle so you can carry it like this if you want to. Normally to be honest I carry it like this. I do Actually no I don't. I do one strap and then I let a strap dangle. When I was editing my Outfit Diaries video from Italy, from Italy it looked really funny, it looked like I had a little tail hanging but actually it was um, just a strap from this bag. The colour I absolutely love. I love neutral coloured handbags because I think if you're going to invest in a good bag then it should be a neutral colour because then it will go with everything. So this is a lovely light grey and I love grey all year round. This will last me like through to spring and summer and next year and the year beyond that and beyond. And it's quite a spongy leather which is quite wipe clean, easy care um, and doesn't pick up too many marks. I've, I've been careful with this but not like I would be with a really expensive like a mulberry handbag or something and it's not got dirty or picked up any marks which is great. I often struggle with um, shoulder ache quite a lot as well. I seem to pack everything into my bag and it's really heavy at the moment. I just I genuinely don't know what is in here that's so heavy. We'll find out. Um, so it's great when it is heavy or if I'm carrying lots of bags I can wear like an actual backpack which is super. And also I'm not the kind of person that ever thought I'd be cool enough to wear a backpack as my everyday handbag. And um, I'm still not cool enough, but I do, and I love this one. So yeah, let's have a look what's inside. It closes and opens with this kind of um, buckle strap thing there. And then inside is my crap um, and a zippy pocket here. Can you see that zippy pocket here? Whoop. And then there's two pockets on the inside there, two pockets. So that's really handy, um, often I keep other cards in there, cards I use more often. And let's start with these little pockets. So, okay, this is what's inside that one pocket, the other one's empty. Five pound notes, that's handy, I'm going to put that somewhere where Dexter can't chew it. What was that little man? Did you say something? This is my credit card which I use for my oyster, so I'm going to put that back in the back pocket so I don't use it. Um, then I've got a receipt, what's this? Today we were four pounds cheaper. Ah, this is when I went to Tesco to pick up um, food and pumpkins. So there's my Tesco receipt. Then I have some of my blog business cards in there. These are actually a little bit outdated now. Um, here they are if you wanted to see them. I don't think you can see them with the lighting. So it's Fashion Mumbler on the front. And then it says Josie, editor and creator, my mobile number, um, email address and blog website on the back. And yeah, they're quite cute, they're quite substantial. They're like that three 
three tiers, so it's white, then a black sandwich in the middle. Doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, they're good quality cards, got them from Moo.com, and I always just have a copy in my handbag. I very rarely hand them out, but that's where they were, so um, I'm showing you. Then I have a lens cap. I've lost all the lens caps for my Olympus pen, which is appalling because I, I like to take care of my belongings, but I, I've lost all the lens caps. This is the lens cap for the camera which I don't take out with me, this one here, which is my Canon, so um, I don't know why that was in my handbag, but if... Do you know what? I know why it's in my handbag. Charlie is so OCD tidy that if he sees something of mine dotted around the house, he'll put it in my handbag. So that's why that's in there. Charlie. Then the thing that's taking up... Oh, I thought this was going to be a lot bigger and heavier. The thing that usually takes up a lot of room is my makeup bag, although today it's quite empty. I think it's because I put a lot of my everyday makeup in my clutch bag from last night, from the party. So this is a fabric bag. I like that it's fabric because it means it can squish up into whatever shape is available in your handbag. This um, was from one of the Love Me Beauty boxes and it says, Inner beauty is great, but a little makeup never hurts, which I think is lovely. Dexter, that's another thing from my handbag which I'm not allowed to chew. So let's have a quick look at what's inside here. It looks really like scabby and not very glamorous, as a beauty blogger should be. But let's see, so, we've got a sachet of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which I obviously grabbed from a magazine and thought would be handy for those just-in-case emergencies. We've got another sachet, god I love sachets, clearly. Um, this is of the Clarins BB Cream. I always save sachets, I'm such a hoarder, um, and they, they come in handy. And then I've got some plasters. These look like they've been in here for quite some time because they're a little bit battered. But they're the fabric ones from Boots which don't budge once they're in place. So really handy to have some of those in there. Then I've got the Sephora blotting tissue paper. Which is these ones here. Which to be honest I haven't actually used in a while but they're handy to have if you're ever having a mega shiny moment and need to sort it out. I've got the Origins Plant Scription Concealer which is better than the NARS one for topping up during the day. So that's great for my horrendously um, dark under eye bags. Then I've got the Vichy Derma Blend um, Fond de Taint Compact Creme. This is a cream foundation, so it's great for coverage but also anti-shine. And it's a really handy little um, container. Annoyingly I've lost the sponge, so also I bet in here I have my, yeah, I've got a little blending brush, which is from Zoeva. This is the Silk Finish 102 brush, so I just, you know, touch up my makeup with this during the day and it mattifies as well as um, adding, what's the word, coverage. So I absolutely love that, that's in there. My Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, which is great for topping up brows on the go. I've got a Shantakai eyeliner because it's so slim and skinny, but that's good for on the go. Um, Benefit Posy Tint, I always have a lip balm in my handbag when it gets to autumn because my lips get really chapped and dry, so this is pretty handy and it has a lovely light pink um, colour to it as well. This is the lip liner that I wear on like an everyday basis. It's the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Liar. So this is pretty much my daily lip liner. Perfume sample. This is Miss Dior. I always, again, keep these. <laughs> such a hoard of minis um, because it's nice to top up on the go. This is a sample of the Chantecaille Mascara, which is really, really good. So handy to have minis in your makeup bag if you want to add more mascara as the day goes on, which I do because I like to pick my eyelashes, which is such a gross habit, but um, yeah, I do that. Then I've got Benefit Professional License to Blot, also looks like a magazine freebie or something, and I've not actually tried that, so don't really know why that's in there. Benefit Boing Concealer, which is great for if you have any like emergency spots which you just need to cover in a dire situation. Um, and then this always comes in really handy. This is a very old Dior retractable, let me show you. There we go for applying powder or just like blending yourself in and I'm really good with making sure that I wash this quite often as well because obviously I use it quite a lot during the day when maybe my skin's got a little bit oilier so really important to wash any brushes that you keep in your handbag and makeup bag. So that's the contents of my makeup bag. This does change quite frequently. Normally it's filled with lipsticks because whatever lipstick I'm wearing during the day I normally stick in my handbag but only a couple of days ago I had a clear out so there's not so many um, lipsticks in there as there normally would be. The one thing I would say about this bag is that because it's white fabric it does get quite dirty 
but I will probably just stick it in the washing machine at some point and it'll be clean again, so not the end of the world. The next thing that's in there is this, which is my new um, portable phone charger. This is from Anchor, and Charlie actually got me this from Amazon. I did have one of those lipstick shaped ones, like a pink one, which probably is actually still in there, um, but it only did one charge and it was very old, so Charlie really kindly got me this, which has, um, it's bigger than my old one, but not too big. I think this charges your phone three or four times, and for a gal on the run, um, like I spend a lot of my time, when I do a day in London, I like to do a whole day in London, like cram all my meetings and events into one day, so it's great to have a phone charger with me, so that's going to come in really handy. Next thing in my bag is um, one of my Krispy Kreme cards. I did a blog post for Krispy Kreme recently and I got given a red card, which means I can get a box of 12 donuts um, every month for a year, which is amazing, so that's what this is. And they also gave me 12 green cards to give away to my readers, um, which I think is still active. So if you sign up to the Friends of... Oh! <laughs> Pardon me, a little Dexter moment. Um, yeah, if you sign up to Friends of Krispy Kreme, then you are in with a chance of winning one of these cards, which is free donuts for a year, within reason. I think it's like a box a year. No. A box a month. But yeah, I'll leave the blog post down below so you can enter if you like donuts. Then I've got my nail varnish. I, um, I'm wearing at the moment Purple Heart Pearl from the H&M Beauty range. This is literally the one I'm wearing right now. And I put this in my bag because I wanted to top it up before um, my last day in London. And I normally do it when I get on the tube, even though that's probably really disrespectful to people that I'm sitting next to. But I just don't have time to do it otherwise and I hate like sitting at home for 20 minutes and not being able to do anything while my nails dry. So that's why I had that in there. Then I've got an umbrella. This is a really small one. I don't know where this is from. Um, it's not a terribly good quality one, it's just a small umbrella. I've lost the case to it annoyingly, but it's really small and light, so it's a good handbag umbrella. Colab Mini Dry Shampoo. Um, I use it more as a volumising mist than a dry shampoo. Like, probably now my hair could do with it. And also, if I'm having one of those days when my roots are really bad, I'll just spray a little bit of dry shampoo on it, even though this isn't one of the blonde ones, um, but it just helps to lighten the roots, and this is a great size to keep them in the handbag. So this is um, Colab Dry Shampoo in Monaco. Then I have a little hand sanitizer. This is from Fantastic Cleaners, which is where I take Dexter, or actually I think it's called Fantastic Doggy Daycare. Um, it's where I take Dexter on days when I can't be at home all day. So, um... And they have little goodie bags when you take your dog there, and this is an in it. So this is a watermelon antibacterial hand gel, which is so useful if you live in London or if you generally are aware of hygiene, like the amount of germs you get on your hands and then eat, it's gross. So it's really handy to have this in my handbag. And it smells amazing. Got my camera, this should be in a case, but it's not, especially as I don't have a lens cap. Um, this, if you don't know, is what I do my vlogs on. It's the Olympus Pen EPL7. It's amazing because it has the flip down screen so I can just be talking to myself and I can see myself and it's generally, generally the best camera ever. I wrote a whole blog post on this and the camera that I use to video in um, for my normal videos so I'll link that down below. In fact, I think it's always linked below in all my videos so if you're interested in what I use to video and photograph then check out that blog post. Next I've got this little cordially string bag which usually has my camera in it or um, my spare lens because I also use the 75mm lens No I don't, that's one that I want to get um, I also use the 45mm lens from Olympus to create those lovely blurry background shots So normally my camera and spare lens and battery live in this um, My phone which um, I'm actually surprised that that was in there because I thought I've used my phone since I've used my bag Probably Charlie tidying up again but yeah, there's my phone. It is a gold iPhone 6 Plus with a Kate Spade case on it, in case you've not seen my phone before. Um, yeah, there it is. My top notification is Charlie Irons shared Candy Kittens post. <laughs> and then my purse, and while I show you my purse, I'll also show you my card holder, because these match, and they're both from Kate Spade, and they are both from the Kate Spade sample sale, which I went to probably about a year ago now. Excuse me, little dog. So I think I paid about £25 and £30 for these, which, as you'll probably know, is amazing for Kate Spade, like absolutely amazing. So I'll start with the purse. It is light pink, metallic kind of material. Um, it's got a pocket in the back, which has got stamps in it. Exciting. And then a zip closure. Um, it's quite full. 
I have got cash, um, receipts, uh, I'm just seeing if there's anything interesting I can show you, I don't think there is, VIP Pets at Home card, don't know why I still have this, this is my old uni card from when I went to um, London College of Fashion, doesn't work for student discounts, don't know why I still have that in there. I've got, um, yeah, loads of receipts, and um, what else? This is my Nectar card, taxi receipts, uh, another Krispy Kreme card, loyalty cards. Should I do a what's in my purse as well? Or is that really boring? Just had to change the battery of my camera, so I'm sorry if it's in a slightly different position. Um, but back to my purse. So I have lots of loyalty cards in here. Um, I'm not going to go through them all, but Space NK, New Look. Uh, frozen yogurt, McDonald's, um, the coffees. I'm not a big McDonald's eater, but I like their coffees. And then I have loads of foreign currencies. I tend to like keep currencies from cool places that I've been to. So I've got ten um, pounds from the Bank of Egypt. This um, is the same. One US dollar rolling in it. Five US dollars. This is five hundred shillings from the Bank of Tanzania. And then I have 5,000 shillings from the Bank of Tanzania, which has a rhino on it, which is quite cool. No, Dexter! So yeah, I have a few currencies in there which are a little bit unusual or have any nice memories for me. What else? This is um, my Superdrive Bloggers Network. 30% off! I totally forgot that I had that. Oh my gosh. Could have saved so much money. Um... Yeah, that's my purse. I'm not going to go through all the cards because I don't really think you'd find that interesting. So let's move on. It's getting quite light now, which is good. I've got um, some Panadol Extra paracetamol tablets because I am quite prone to headaches. So I always keep these in my handbag, just a couple. Then I've got my powder, which should be in my makeup bag. This is Chanel Le Beige, which is lovely for topping up on the go. It's got a little brush and the powder and a mirror, which is so handy. Um, and it doesn't give a caked finish, so it's fine for just sticking on over whatever makeup you've got on during the day. Another tablet. Um, a pen. This is a pen and a highlighter in one, which I got from the Reward Style Masterclass. So, yeah, Black Biro. A lipstick. This is the Urban Decay Matte Stark Naked Lipstick, which, again, with the line which I showed you in my makeup bag, is pretty much my everyday autumn lip combo. Then I've got my house keys, um, and it's got my Soho Gym membership toggle on it, which is ironic, because I haven't been to the gym since I finished my job, which was before Fashion Week, so like June or July, which is really bad. And then the last things in there are a couple of hair bubbles and hair grips. That's where they all go, and I can never find them. And that's it, my bag is now nice and empty. Um, as I said, that was completely unedited, and ooh, got lipstick on the bag now, Tom Ford. <laughs> but yeah, that's what was inside my handbag. I hope you found that insightful. Um, probably not the most interesting what's in my handbag in the world, because as I said, it's just... So that is the contents of my Radley backpack. Should I call this a what's in my handbag or what's in my backpack? I think I'll call it a what's in my handbag just for um, searchability and all that. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I'd love to know what kind of things you keep in your handbag, if anything in here surprised you, if there's anything that you thought I'd have which I don't, just let me know in the comments below. As always, please give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it because that makes me really happy when I get thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to this channel or if you've just not subscribed yet. In that case, I shall see you in my next video. Bye-bye!